Hey guys, it's Carol from All Best Eat Up. I will have my blog linked below. Please feel free to check it out. Um, I wanted to do my first video as a simple video that something you guys will enjoy. Um, so I'm going to do a what's in my purse or what's in my bag depending on where you're from. Um, this is a Rebecca Minkoff mini mac. I got it on sale uh, right around the end of Christmas time into January. So I got a good deal. Um, opening it up. I'm just going to pull things out because there's no particular order, but I, as you can tell, wear glasses, um, so I had to get prescription sunglasses. These are really cute. These are from Fossil. Um, I really like them. They look like this. Very fancy. Um, but no, they work really well, and the only pain is that I have to like switch them like back and forth depending on if I'm inside or outside. So. But I always have one with me, and it's just a Coach um, Outside Cakes. I got that um, actually just from the eyeglass uh, place that I got it from, so it worked out well. Um, let's see, I have my little Coach cute little um, mini wallet. It works really well. Um, I actually enjoy this better. I feel like I have more control of like what I have in here and it's just easy to get in and out of and it's nice too because if i ever want to use a bigger purse i have a bigger purse like i can transfer really easily so i really enjoy this it has a shawl on the back which is going to be my future initials i know that sounds really crazy um but that is what i had on here saying it was going to for a while i have my cute little coach denim um mini You're killing me. You guys, he keeps knocking things around. So I apologize. He's cute, but he keeps knocking things around. Say hi to Tetsu. Anyway, I'm going to hope that I am in focus and I'm going to continue because this is my first video and I figured I might as well just continue. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was just a coin purse. It has just regular coins in it, quarters. It's a cute, it has like a really cute interior. It's striped. So I really like this. I got it a long time ago though, so more than likely there's not exactly that one out anymore. Um, sadly guys, the rest of it is all the products. Yeah, all the products. Um, I don't know how I get this many. I let's just be honest we're girls we know that um we love the products and we tend to just board them so i'm just going to own it um but here is a Too faced melted this is a um something i just got it's a deluxe sample from sephora uh i'm still on the fence about it i use it every once in a while but i'm not too sure yet i'm not sure about the claim that it's long wearing um, i don't find it to be very long wearing um, but it is still to be determined, and I will have it on my blog eventually. Uh, I have a Chanel lipstick. This is a Rouge Coco Shine in 86 um, Instinct. It's really pretty. It's just like very, 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 very faint. It doesn't give much color. It's just like a light pinky peach. Um, but it's beautiful, and I like to pair this with like a new lipstick underneath and then it just gives that great, like, lovely shine to it. This is really um, a staple for if I do, like, a wedding makeup look or if, like, my cousin for her wedding, like, we had this on, like, standby, and she would layer it. It was really pretty. Next, I have a NYX. Um, this is the NYX. I don't remember what these are called. Uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Natural. Now, when I first got this, I hated it. I was, like... This color is just not me. It's way, 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 way too dark. It's like a rosy mauvey color almost. Um, but actually, I've learned to really love this, um, especially right now with all of the Kylie Jenner natural nude lips. Um, this is perfect. So I really like it. And it smells really good. Sad story, I had the NYX Beige color, which is like a cult favorite from like a couple years ago. And I lost it. I have a feeling, I swear to God, it's somewhere in my car, but I can't find it. It's very sad. Um, next is a new favorite. This is the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful and so easy to apply. The sponge tip applicator, I know a lot of people aren't so keen on, but 
it is something you can get past because it's a beautiful product and it distribu distributes very evenly. Um, plus it smells like like straight up candy. It's just beautiful. These are awesome. Um, they're totally worth the price. I think they're about $20 to $23. They are totally worth it. Awesome, awesome product. We will get one. Um, another product that I really love is the YSL. This is a glassy lip stain. And this is in the color number 7, which I believe is like Corel Aquatique or something similar to that. Um, <laughs> I don't speak French. But it is beautiful. It's uh, one of those products that people love or hate. Um, it's actually very similar to the NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Natural. But it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit more peachy coral. And this is just awesome. Um, I love to layer this just during the day. It layers beautifully on itself. So you can just keep reapplying and you still get that beautiful look and that beautiful color. So highly recommend these as well. I know these are kind of like a, a touch or go product depending on the shade. Um, so do your research. I would highly, highly recommend them. The last is the one I have on my lips and this is just a new discovery. I've gotten this like maybe a year ago and it's in the, um, it's a Topshop lipstick and it's in the color Nevada. And I hated it at first. I got it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to wear this. It's just way, 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 way too new. Um, but with a tan, it's beautiful. So like right now, and this is me with a tan, guys. I know, I know, I'm pale. But it is just gorgeous. Um, so I recommend this. And they smell so good. They smell kind of like strawberries. It's a smell I'm not... I don't think I've smelled anything like it before, so it's beautiful. And you guys, that's really about it on my purse. Um, the rest of it is just some trash. I have like a Culver's receipt, which if you are not from the Midwest, Culver's is amazing. It is better than, in my opinion, it is better than like In-N-Out, which I haven't actually been to, but I'm just saying, it's really good. It's another burger joint, and it's so good. And they have um, cheese curds, fried cheese curds, um, mozzarella, it's just so good. Um, I always get their butter burgers, and they are amazing. Their salads are really good, too. Um, I have a Brewers ticket. Go Brewers. Um, I went to the Brewers Cardinal game with my friend, Megan, which, hi, Megan, if you're watching this. Um, and it was really fun. Um, sadly, we lost this game, but we won the series for that series. I'm really bad with baseball. I'm sorry. But it was fun. And the last one, ooh, this was a nail. I uh, got my nails done in this lovely pink color, which I do have posted on my blog. Um, I believe it is color number 16 with the, I think it's the Jellish nail polishes. Um, but it is just gorgeous. And I love natural, nude-looking nails. I think it's just really chic. Um, so I've been really enjoying this. And the nail place that I went to, she was like, well, just so you know, like, it's good for two weeks. Like, they will guarantee it for two weeks. So I thought that was awesome. And that's all I have in my purse, guys. Um, it does have a small